Hi, this is Emily Zlanian with TV Guide Magazine and TVInsider.com, and I'm sitting here with Uma Thurman, Savan Alira Rose, and Tony Goldwyn of Netflix's Chambers. So <laughs> this show is crazy. It is about a girl who gets a heart transplant from another girl who passed away, and all sorts of wild things start happening to her. But I think one of the biggest things I noticed at the heart of the series is that it's really about trauma. So could you tell me a little bit about how each of your characters are dealing with the certain traumas that they're facing throughout the series? Well, um, my character, Nancy, who is married to Ben, who's Tony, um, we have lost our daughter. And we have a son. And, and you know, my, my character basically is sort of completely, is completely traumatized and is sort of turned quite inward. Um, and I think is caught up in, a, in sort of a well of grief and rage. My character, Sasha, she's dealing with like the traumas of a teenage girl going through a transplant and her boyfriend and her friends and the world is all getting crazy together. So I think, um, I think a lot of teen girls would relate to uh, the way she responds to things. <laughs> yeah, and similarly, Ben, uh, my character, you know, like Uma, we, we've lost our, our daughter. Uh, the way that Ben deals with his trauma, um, Uma mentioned that Nancy sort of goes inward and Ben tries to go outward. You know, he, he sort of is trying to hold his family together. He thinks it will be healing to have a relationship with the girl who has their daughter's heart. And so Ben kind of in, um, pushes, you know, in, in, in himself upon Sasha and brings Sasha into the family's world. What did you guys all try and keep in mind when you were playing these characters? Like, what drew you to these people? Uh, well, me and Sasha kind of come from a similar background. You know, I'm a, I, so I started from there. I wanted her to be who I wish I was in high school. You know, she's very confident. She's very cool. She's sweet, but has an, a really uh, an edge to her. I think that that's what gives her character. Like, uh, it's, you know, the meat of the story of her is that she uh, she's really nice, but she... She's not like scared, even though the world's getting like really scary around her. Right. <laughs> she's a, she's very strong personality and willed, and I wanted to just keep that in her, is that she's um, she's just a strong girl, and I want to show that. <laughs> um, even with the horror genre, you know, from right. performance point of view, that it's it's sort of it's straight, uh, sort of um, straightforward naturalistic um, acting and I, I was in the mood to do a part like that and uh, and, uh, and, a, and a character that would sort of unfold over time. Uh, for me I wanted to just be real you know and, and to honor the, the what interested me a lot is you're not quite sure where Ben is coming from right if, if there's something darker going on or not uh, and particularly because we see the show is really from Sasha's point of view so this man kind of pushing himself on her, not sexually, but you know, emotionally, is very bizarre. And so through Sasha's eyes, it's, it's inappropriate and scary in, in some ways uh, and creepy. And, um, and yet I wanted very much, it not, I didn't see it that way at all. I was just a grieving parent trying to express love and, and connect on that level so keeping it real like that I think it was very interesting how like how that can be misinterpreted yeah. so you don't know what someone's intentions are mm -hmm. but um, uh, so I, I wanted to just try and stick to um, that reality and however it's interpreted is really up to the audience now Uma I think that yeah. your character's relationship with Sasha is particularly interesting because it is like the grieving loss of a mother Sasha doesn't have a mother could you talk a little bit about how the two of you put together that relationship. I think that I think that Nancy is trying desperately to find any meaning in in the loss of her daughter, and I think that she's drawn towards Sasha, and she doesn't she doesn't really know why. It, it, it is a little weird, um, but there she she needs her daughter and she feels um, a, 
her a daughter in Sasha. And the and for Sasha, she's um she grew up without a mother, so she has she's been harboring a trauma like that of disconnect of you know the emotional attachment to your mother, and I don't think she necessarily wants to be rude to Nancy. She has a lot of sympathy to her. You know, she understands where the what the Lefevers are going through and she's not right. trying to push any of it. She's not trying to be like, you know, oh, don't talk to me. She's trying to be as nice as she can about everything. Now, how big of horror fans are each of you? Is this something that you would have picked up on your Netflix queue on its own or is this something that you may have shied away from? I'm the horror fan, I think. <laughs> I I really enjoy horror. I've always been a horror fan. I am happy I ended up in the horror genre. I wasn't like actually like fit. choosing it. Yeah, but it fits. So I'm I'm happy to be here and um I'm happy to get spooky. <laughs> I'm just a genre fan. I'm a film yes. fan yes. and um performance mm-hmm. and language yeah. and you know all these things are locate you know places to do that. So Absolutely. I'm, I'm a I've given my whole life to this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for me, the best horror and what I really loved about Chambers, I mean, I almost wouldn't categorize it as horror mm-hmm. because it's too easy a label for what this show is. The best films to me of this genre and the ones that I've been drawn to as an actor, and I've done a few of them, um, uh, w- are, are ones that feel very, very human, where you're not right. sure what's where the genre's coming in or not. Like, it might, yeah. And, and uh, Chambers is like that. It's a very organic thing, and you're not sure if there's something supernatural happening or if it's in Sasha's head or if it's just the power of grief that Nancy and Ben are, are, you know, are, are experiencing. Um, so, the, the, and I, I always feel like that's the best if you look at something like Rosemary's Baby, which I know was, <laughs> you know, was a great classic and was an inspiration for Leah, our creator, and right. for Alfonso, our director. Um, that that a lot of that movie, you're not sure yeah. if it's is this n- normally just odd people <laughs> or what's happening, and it creeps up on you. Uh, so I love horror movies like that. Savan, what's the coolest thing that these two taught you, since you are a newcomer to this? I'm just world. cool now. <laughs> you know, they taught me how to be cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they, that seems right. Their energy helps me out a lot, you know. <laughs> I, I get, like, weird anxiety and stuff, but I'm glad that um, I have people to teach me how to calm it down. <laughs> nice. Very cool. Um, well, I look forward to seeing the rest of Chambers. Thank you. And I look forward to the world to see the rest of Chambers and the start of Chambers and all of it because yes. it is so much fun. Um, thank you guys so much. Thank you. Check out Chambers on April 26th. All 10 episodes will premiere. Spooky. <laughs>